everyone, it's Froggy, and I'm back again with another episode of Mystic Messenger. So we've got a new chat room here called Shocking Facts. Jayhee, did you know about V's eyes? Zen, did you know that V hurt his eyes? Uh, Zen, let's talk to you. Mila, I knew, but... I didn't know how it happened. So I'm kind of panicking right now. He's losing his sight? Still, you knew about his injury, but I didn't know how bad it was, and... And because of Rika? This is crazy! So, no one except V saw Rika act strangely. How did you know that he hurt his eyes? Uh, how did you know? I once hurt myself while dancing and had to stay at the hospital, I think about a year ago. Oh, when you broke your arm. Yes. I actually ran into V at the hospital. He was wearing patches over his eyes, so I asked. And he told me that he hurt his eyes. I see. It seems only shocking things have been happening recently. I feel very complicated. We learned that there's a bomb where Mila is at, which the hacker messed with, and the hacker might be in the group that wanted the RFA's information, and Zen has a stalker, and I received a strange email. And the shocking news that Rika hurt her V's eyes. I don't want any more big news. I feel like I'm surrounded by chaos, but it's all going to be over soon, right? I hope so. It will. Gah, I'm dizzy. Don't think too much. Then you... The fact that you have a stalker and you have to stay yep. with Seven must be stressful enough. Yup. Knocked down just by those two. I'm so worried about you, Sung. Hey, look, I'm the one who's most stressed out here. What's wrong with Seven? He's so nice. Um, I'm worried about you, Sung. I hope you, Sung, feels better soon as well. He'll get over it soon since you're worrying for him. I think I was right. That V hasn't changed a bit. Maybe he has one or two things he's hiding from us, but it's probably all for us. I hope that's the case. I want to see V become bright again. To be honest, I'm still suspicious of V. No, I want to see him become bright again. Thanks for saying that, Mila. It means a lot that you think that. When you sung's breaking down right now, I agree. It's very mature of you, but please understand that V is going through a difficult situation. If the person he loved hurt him and killed herself, anyone would break down no matter how strong they are. Hmm, I won't be able to stand it. Especially accepting her death. That's beyond what I can take in. What about the party? Do you know how hard I worked for this? If what V said is all true, then I feel sorry for V. Yeah, I feel so bad for him. He could have at least told me. What happened has happened, but to be honest, I still want to overcome all of this and hold the party. Of course, Mila's safety is the most important, but... I hope Mila is safe and that the party she worked hard for would be hosted. Am I being too selfish? That's the best that can happen, and it will happen. I don't think everything will work out that well. No, it's the best that will happen, and it will happen. Kumawa. Thank you. I will do as much as I can to help. We haven't talked about stopping the party yet. So I will continue getting ready for the party amongst all this bad news. Oh, right. That photo of the stalker. Ugh, I was trying so hard to forget about it. It happened because of your sexiness, so you should be responsible. It's so creepy. It, it really is creepy. Staring through the window. How do you think I felt? To be honest, I looked into it myself, after careful analysis. That face didn't match any existing fan club huh? member. Huh? You searched for that? Of course. So he might not be a fan. Jihi, you're amazing. He's not a fan. Then, isn't that more dangerous? It is. I'm more worried that it might not be a fan. Lucille must find out who it is soon. Is Lucille still working? 
Yes, he hasn't been coming out of his room. He doesn't even go to the bathroom. Maybe there's a bathroom in his room. He hasn't fainted in his room, right? Uh, I hope he hasn't fainted. He's been working himself to the bone. Don't think so. I have pretty sensitive hearing. And I can hear typing noises. I see. We can only trust Lucille at this point. It would be nice to find out who the hacker is as well. Lucille is a weirdo, but he's definitely trying his best. I sent him the strange email I received at midnight. I hope we get results for that as well. What did the email say again? It said, Our paradise, the place where everyone is happy, the magenta of dreams and hopes. What the hell is the magenta? I don't really know what it means. It kind of sounds like a regular advertising catchphrase. I hope that's what it is. It probably isn't anything serious. Seven will take care of it. I believe in Seven. Let's hope so. I hope that we get through all of this and hold the party. As Juman said, Mila has to be safe too. And you must be safe as well. Jehi, you should calm down too. Did you find any more potential guests? I know that this is a bit off topic, but you two seem really friendly with each other, haha. -ha. Um, any more potential guests? You're still thinking about the party. Amazing. Wait a sec. I'll look up the phone number. I put it down just before. He's a famous fashion designer who used to dress me. We used to be close. He's the only one that I can think of right now. He always dresses all in white. Please tell him to reach me. Hmm, I don't really want to invite a fashion designer. Nope, and tell him to reach me. Okay, I will, Mila. I will. Go look for more potential guests as well. I'm sure it is very difficult for Mila since we did not have long to prepare. I don't think I can go to work today. I should go check on Seven. I'll contact you if something comes up again. Talk to you later, Zen. Jehi, I'm counting on you. Alright, Jehi. You got this. Yes, then. See you later. Bye-bye. New email and... Visual novel mode. The guy took our information. There's not enough time to hack the bomb again. <laughs> I couldn't beat him after all. I was always useless. Not helping anyone, right? I knew it. You give me a chance, and you're disappointed in me now. I should be thrown out. Why did you decide to trust me? You thought I could be better than him? You were wrong about me, so just abandon me here. That is the only way to save everyone here. I'll stay here to deal with them alone. Hurry and leave. You must continue to build your paradise. <laughs> oh, they're cute. I want one. Not really. You're not saying that we should raise Jimin's cat, are you? I want it! Really? I Thank you. I feel much better just by talking to you. I feel like we should take care of the danger in front of us and then relax. Nope, this one. Ah, 그렇게 말해주니 기뻐요. 제가 도움이 될수 있다는 게 너무 행복해요. 저는 목소리를 들으면 너무 보고 싶어요. 계속 전화하면서 목소리 듣고 싶지만 참을래요. 지금 처리할 일이 있어서요. 이만 가봐야 할것 같아요. 내 생각 많이 해주면 기쁠 것 같아요. 알죠? I miss you too. You're so cute. Ugh. And I feel really bad for you. You're all sad and stuff in the corner. 
Oh, new thing from Jumin here. Resolved. Oh yeah, Yusung took the cat. That's exactly what happened. Oh, I'm so happy. It's gonna be so much fun. Ooh, and honey booty chips. A mouse without its cord. All right. Well, I'm gonna go ahead and end this episode here for today. Hope you guys enjoyed it. If you want to see more videos from me, then don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. Thanks for watching.